Okay, we're back again at the Geological Society of America this year in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, rather in Indianapolis. And uh, I'm reporting our second year's results, uh, which actually build very nicely on the first year's results. So uh, essentially, we've now taken those initial results we uh, developed from the central part of the core complex um, and extended those to the north, uh, toward the Wood Hills, and toward the south, toward Harrison Pass. And uh, happily, we're getting pretty much the same story. So we have have a, uh, uh, an initial event that began probably 42 or 43 million years and um, that proceeded, continued um, uh, till at least probably 34 or 33 million years. It's a little difficult to get the transition time and uh, then the system seems to have either slowed down very much or stalled. So in that earlier episode, we may have had extension rates up to three uh, kilometers per million years. Um, it couldn't have been any more than about uh, half a millimeter per million years, or that would be half a kilometer per, uh, half a kilometer per million years, half a millimeter per year uh, in that intervening time. Uh, we've gotten more confident about the um, the second event, which began probably 30, 25 million years ago, um, things kicked up again and especially accelerated after 23 million years or so. Um, and that continued right up until 10 or 11 million years. And so uh, it's worked very nicely, the uh, uranium, thorium, helium data that Jim and his students, Nicole and Carlton presented yesterday are really meshing beautifully with the um, slightly higher temperature argon, mica, and um, K Feldspar multi diffusion domain modeling that I've been doing uh, today. I'm good. So we're feeling pretty confident about that overall story. Collectively, I think that the extension may have accommodated perhaps. Um, uh, up to the going on right up to today, up to 50 kilometers of extension. So you could pretty much take Elko and push the um, Ruby Mountains and East Humboldt Range back into the subsurface and slide Elko right over the top of them. And um, all the beautiful Ruby Mountains and East Humboldt Range would have been hidden from view uh, back uh, 40, 45 million years ago. So uh, that's largely the story. We're beginning to, um, today I'm hoping uh, to present a, uh, a kind of a, a visualization of how the, the system formed and progressed and uh, hopefully be building on that the next year. So we're really moving into the interpretive and tectonic um, evaluation of the results now. Thanks.